Hello guys and welcome to this YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to Bitcoin mining. Um, as, as we start I'll just show you the current price of one Bitcoin. £627.28 and um, those are my Bitcoins I've earned off mining and another website which I'll do another tutorial on. But yep, this is what I use, it's called Bitminter, uh, bitminter.com show you bitminter.com and they charge very low fee it's very good very nice interface but also I'm just going to show you what, before you start mining you're going to want a wallet I wouldn't recommend the actual Bitcoin wallet from Bitcoin because when you don't want it for a week or two it takes forever to update and ever but multibit.org there I'll put a link to the description Windows Mac Linux it's very simple to install and then once you're on it's very simple to um once you're on Bitminter you're gonna want to use your address but that'll be later in the video so after you install multibit load it up and you just close that and then you want to go and go on to Bitminter and click join you can use OpenID, Google, Yahoo, AOL, but I use Yahoo because I've got an email account there and it's simple. So I just sign up. Well, I'm already. I'll just log myself in and then come to this page, my account community. And for the f if you're new, you want to go on Tools and Bitminter client. I'd recommend the latest. Just click latest or top date, but the latest one currently is version 1.4.2 then once you downloaded that I can show you you can get different things but I wouldn't bother with the fur community and stuff but yeah but e what I suggest you do after you've installed that before you run it or if it runs first go on to account details on here you got your auto cash it's that's where you're gonna wanna change that where it says activate the, just name coins just ignore name coins for now because you can get name coins, but they're quite hard to get. But here I'm going to show you this threshold. So the minimum payout is 0 0.01 bitcoins, which is currently about £6.27. But yeah, you click change, and then I'll just show you selected. That's selected. Just type in 0 0.01, and then your address. So you're going to want to open up Multibit. Just wait for that to load. Oh, it's already up. Request. Copy that, go into pay address and paste that, click OK, update cash out's changed, and then that's that, and then this is where else you're going to want to go, workers. The m possibly there's going to be a worker already there, but on here you're going to want to edit, well you're not going to want to edit, but you're going to want to add a worker, add a name, and then that just tells you stuff from like previous attempts at mining. Um, donations and perks. What I said, this you have to donate so much it won't let you change it. But stuff like you can add donations extra for immediate pay for block now waiting for 120 for confirmations. That's a good thing. But stuff like here, activate API keys, activate easy mode. But I wouldn't. I just leave it as it is for now. But up here, then once we've done that, login. What's this one name? Um, oh, that's just telling you you log in. Um, banners and avatars. This is if you like for your website tells you what you're currently mining. It's like if you wanted certain people, so you could all have an account for maybe four of you, and you could all mine on different workers. But yeah, so once you've downloaded Bitminter, you're gonna want to load it up. Um, I can't remember. But I think. Just if it comes up to request to add, then well, run it, click yes. But as you can see, I've got my um, AMD bulldozer and my GPU, which is a 6670. Um, I wouldn't advise doing your CPU because you're only going to get killer hash per second, which is nothing. But you can tune and tweak it. So here we go work group size, that's the biggest work group size I can currently use. Work intervals, buffer type, that's for AMD only, so if you don't have an AMD, just make sure you use default, stuff like that. 
and then one you might have to log in I'm not sure I can't remember but once you've done that oh yeah account yeah username and worker name but yeah once you've done that you're gonna wanna click engine start I've gotta log into the mint so that's there my worker name I've logged in there you go as you can see we'll just wait as you can see the mega hash per second is going up to around 100 obviously my mint speed is terrible because the like it's gone up with currency but yeah as you can see there it's telling me how much bitcoins I get a day which is pathetic really but I'm getting near enough I normally get around 90 but as you can see there there's one proof at working and then blocks accepted and you can just leave that on while you go out just leave, leave it on while you're not doing nothing on your computer but yeah and then when you're done you're just going to click engine stop it says you can just exit this one once you've done this yeah exit that actually we'll actually close it and then you go on to my account account details and then when af, once you've got a bit it'll come up there balance which should increase and then once you've got the 0 0.01 payout which you've already set you'll see it come through on here and to multi bit and as you can see all different dates from August all the way up to November different amounts but yeah um bitcoins generally have been going up a lot lately but in the last two days they've dropped about 100 pound well that's a sign that the market's stabilizing because it's been about 630 for the last day or two so that's a good thing but yeah then once you, you've done that you can go on your statistics you can go on look stuff like that my accounts banners block let's have a look at the block just tells you difficulty but yeah that was a simple tutorial on how to mine bitcoins thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video